Today I'm going to review the Libman Tornado Mop. I've been looking for a mop for a while to replace my old Mr. Clean mop that fell apart. And so this one kind of caught my eye. And so I want to show you how it works and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So here's the Libman Tornado Mop. And then over here I've got the old Mr. Clean Roller Mop. And I bought this mop because it rings out really quickly. But there's some things I don't like about it, so that's why I want to look at something a little tougher. So this just slips right off. There's no complicated packaging or anything like that. And you sort of have to shake this out a bit to get the mop to come to shape. But after you do that, it's pretty much ready to go. So you pull this plastic thing back and then you twist and then it rings out and then you can hear it clicking. The clicking is a ratcheting system that holds the mop in place just as tight as you uh, tightened it. So that means that you don't have to hold it to wring out the water. Uh, just put it however you want, let the water drain out and you're done. Now just for comparison, here's the old Mr. Clean and it also rings out when you pull this handle back and it squeezes it out and it worked okay but if you look here it just doesn't hold up and this is uh, when I try and scrub it just kind of falls apart so I wasn't real impressed with it and I wanted something a little tougher so one thing I really liked about this is that it's narrow and I could get in tight places like around this toilet and when I tried it with the Mr. Clean I couldn't even get it in there now that may seem like a little thing, but I really don't feel like getting on my hands and knees with a rag and scrubbing that area, so I want to use a mop. Now here's some dried ketchup, and I think it's been here for a couple of days, and if I try this with Miss Clean, it, it just wouldn't work. So with some heavy scrubbing, I was able to get it up, and that beats getting on your hands and knees. So to clean the mop effectively, I just used a little bit of OxyClean. And it only took about 10 minutes and about two tablespoons. And this came out pretty much like new. So be sure and get your OxyClean dissolved really well. And I like to use hot water and I just use enough to get to the top of the mop and then just let it sit and let it do its work. So here's what it looks like after 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's pretty clean. So I'll put a product link in the description below and if you enjoyed this I sure would appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.